where another 15-year-old was also stabbed and injured. Uh, well, let's speak now to our correspondent, Greg McKenzie, who's at the scene of one of those stabbings, uh, the one in Stratford. And, uh, Greg, what, what have you been able to find out from the police about what happened? Well, the police were called here to the Stratford Centre at 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon to report of a stabbing. When they got here, they discovered a teenager surrounded by members of the public and his school friends, all tending to his stab wounds, trying to stem the flow of blood. Sadly, it was paramedics who pronounced him dead at 3.49, just behind me. The tent is still there that marks the exact spot. Now, with him was one of his school friends who was also stabbed. He's currently recovering in hospital. He's said to not have life-threatening injuries. Now, the police have been here again this morning, the lead detective leading this investigation, and I spoke to him a few moments ago. Our response was prompt yesterday. We turned up straight away. Public were already rendering first aid, which is a fantastic uh, show of uh, support from the community. Rendering first aid, the police got involved as that first response. My major investigation team were on our on-call duties. We attended the scene. And as you see, the crime scene is substantial and we appreciate that causes disruption, but this is a very major and tragic uh, set of circumstances which deserves a very serious response from the Metropolitan Police. And because of that, we have to continue to hold a large area open for all the evidential opportunities which we might find. Now, the police have confirmed the teenager's name at the request of the family. His name was Baptista Ajay, a talented footballer who had the rest of his life to lead. Now, in terms of murders in London in the last year, more than 110 fatalities, murders, 69 of them have been knife enabled. Now, you mentioned the other stabbing in South London yesterday. That was an 18 year old man stabbed on a council estate in Camberwell. Uh, that took place at about five hours after this incident, at about 8.30 last night. And the police are appealing for witnesses in all three of these stabbings. Greg, thank you very much indeed.